、研究者が勇敢なアシスタントを募集しています。ヒバゴンの研究をしています。経験不問です。All right, how to age, how to date, Hibagon, that's your Japanese Bigfoot, or Sasquatch, that's your North American Hibagon, stick and tree structures and, and manipulations. This is a question and a discussion. Of course, I don't know, but I hope that talking about This might help us to understand it a little. And I'd like to thank David, thanking you, David, for starting this discussion. When I was a little boy, there was a fad of picking driftwood off the beach and gluing googly eyes on the, on the sticks and making a family of sticks. I don't know if anyone remembers this. In my case, in my present family's case now, we'd find a, th a big fat stick to represent me, and a shapely stick for my wife, and a skinny stick for our elder daughter, and a, and a comically small stick for the younger daughter. Put googly eyes on them, hang them all up on one big stick, and, and hang them on the wall. And they look a bit like、uh, Monsieur b o u d e b o i s Now, that driftwood might be years old, many years old. But the craft, the little stick family, you see, that, that could be done yesterday. So, how old are the individual pieces of wood? That's one question. How old is a structure or manipulation? That's a separate question and harder. Well, let's look at some examples. These are easy to date within a, a reasonable margin because I know they weren't here last year. They were made sometime between last spring and this spring. And these are, of course, from Miserable Person Mountain up in Jinseki, near Grandma's house. Now, this one from Mount Zhao, I don't know. Let's, let's look for clues. The horizontal main bar in this work is well dried, so it's been dead for a while. No sign of rot. Of course, it's up off the ground. That helps. This tree could have been broken off years ago, but its ends are resting very lightly. Most of the weight is supported in the, in the center where it's woven between those two trees, but the ends do rest lightly. On these push down saplings. Saplings push down and under the bar. Well, they're saplings, so they're, they're not very old. When I lift the horizontal bar off of them, they want to stand back up, but they don't. They have a little spring in them, a little tension, but Not enough to lift them back up. They're weakened. Their spirit has not been completely broken. This limp tree that I'm poking is just up the hill. Just up the hill from here. Now its spirit has been broken. There's nothing now keeping it down but its own defeated heart. Like those elephants that they chain up when they're young and then they take the chain off, but the poor elephant has totally given up. His spirit is chained. The artist here seems to have made an interactive and 
reproductive piece of art. This installation may result in more copies of this limp tree or this one found up in Jinseki. But the main component looks considerably older than the installment. Okay, next piece titled Arbre en Pointe because it looks like a ballet dancer on her toes. I estimate this tree is 50 feet tall. It's, a, it's, it's tall. Next time I'll try to measure it somehow. I don't know how. Now what does it weigh? Two or three tons? And it's standing on this little point. What's under those leaves? I, I wasn't about to go messing about in there. Not with all of that tree right above me, above my head. I've got myself and three junior high school girls to keep alive and not squashed like bugs. It's a precarious situation that seems to argue against this tree having been here a long time in this position. The weight of the tree, all of that weight hasn't pushed that point into the soil. You know, you'd, you'd think that every time it rains a little bit, moistens and softens the soil just a little bit, that tree would sink more into the earth. And the weight of the tree hasn't crushed that rotten point. I think this found object piece is relatively new, although the found object itself is old. And the whole piece speaks to me about time, impermanence, and growing old gracefully and even joyfully, like Madonna. Next piece, central horizontal component old. The source, if this upright piece is the source, also old. Dum dum me, I didn't think to look at the base. So I don't know if this is a tree that grew here or a log, maybe the other half of this log just stuffed in the ground. The rotten log up here is supported by medium sized or well, really on the smallish side, trees at the farther end. They are right on the edge of the cliff, so there's no way I'll go out there and check on them on that crumbly soft edge. Our artist risked his life to create this piece. Talk about dedication. At this end, delicate little sticks. Uh... I see family politics in this piece. XXY, perhaps the most challenging piece in our gallery. The large dark piece of the vertical X is very rotten. Now it goes against a living tree. And although the big piece must be very heavy, it's 5.5 meters long, 18 feet. That's, the, that's, that's what's sticking out of the ground, 18 feet. And yet it hardly leans on its companion. It could crush it, but it doesn't. The horizontal X, like a reflection, X and X, and a terminal Y. One is tempted to read into this toxic masculinity intruding into feminine spaces. A voyeur on the edge, a, a repressed dwarf peering frustrated and enviously into a sapphic Amazonian love or self-love. And yet... And yet one feels that this obvious interpretation is isogetic and hogwash. 
The Y shows minimal decay. Even the fork pushed nine and a half inches into moist soil. The top. Now you notice that the Y is inverted, suggesting the overthrow of patriarchy. The top wood break is white. Dry, but clean. It has paper-thin, loose bark still attached to it, hanging precariously. There's that word again. The artist is certainly fascinated with organic impermanence, transience, a very Japanese aesthetic, if I may say so. And again, one comes away from this piece with confused feelings. Parts of it are very old, in advanced decay. Parts of it are less old, and parts are still alive. Maybe soil analysis could tell about how long this log has been here. Decay rates and amount of decay in soil. I, I don't know how to do that. But I think a test like that would show that there isn't enough decayed material in the soil here. That's my hypothesis. I think this rotten old log was moved here from somewhere else. The same with this tree. And I suspect the same with this horizontal tree. And I wonder if this isn't another ballet dancer who has had an accident and fallen down. Or maybe it was put here just like this. Well, I don't have answers. I only have questions. Next time, we'll look at the artist's process. We'll see trial and error at work, selection, rejection. We'll try to get into the artist's mind. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Thank you.